patients arrive. Uh, they usually are greeted by our secretary who will uh, take all of their information and check their health, health card. And uh, then the paperwork is brought to one of the technologists. And uh, they will come out and basically you're going to go through a screening form that uh, you've already been uh, gone through uh, twice. Once by your doctor and then uh, a second time by our secretaries over the phone. And the third screening process is basically just to make sure that everything is accurate on the screening form because our main concern is safety of the patient. So uh, what we would be going through is just basically any surgeries that they may have had, um, any eye injuries with metal, um, anything that would be a contraindication to uh, you having the MRI. We're hoping to catch that with the first two screenings, but we just have to confirm it with the, the final uh, screen. After we've gone through the screening form, we basically explain to the patient what they can expect when they're in the MRI. And uh, the idea is uh, they're told about how loud the machine is. They're given ear protection and also an alarm ball. Uh, if they have any issues while they're in there, they can squeeze the alarm ball. We also, most of the time, provide some type of music uh, for the patient. Uh, younger children, they can have a story. And uh, just to help with uh, the noise and also pass the time. Uh, most MRI exams, they take uh, between uh, 15 to upwares to an hour, just depending on what we're scanning. And uh, so we just uh, inform the patient what they need to do in, in, in staying still. Um, and uh, depending also, sometimes they have to have an injection of contrast and uh, we let them know when we're going to come in and give them the injection and the importance of not moving when we come in uh, in between pictures. Uh, after we've gone through all of that and if they have any questions and ask whatever questions they need, uh, we take them into the change room. Um, if they are not wearing clothing without metal on it, we do have to remove all metal. It is a large magnet and we don't want any metal in the room. So they're uh, brought into the change room and all metal is removed from their clothing and a gown and a house coat is provided. And all of their uh, personal items will be locked up in a locker and the keys put off to the side with us. And from there they're brought in uh, to the MRI room and the test is performed.